is a sad reality of 21st century dating that I need to kick this video off with the definition of what commitment really is. A committed relationship really requires two things. The first thing is exclusivity. We are not going to pursue anyone else. We are not going to sleep with anyone else. And most importantly, we're not going to be sketchy with anyone else. A little hard for most people to uh, actually do. And the second thing that a committed relationship really needs is both people in good faith trying to see if you're going to potentially spend the rest of your life together. This is why a middle school relationship or even a high school relationship most of the time are not really committed relationship because one or both people both have in the back of their mind that this is not going to be a forever relationship. But this video is going to dive into a few shocking reasons why a man won't commit but he keeps coming back for more from you. And a lot of you sex and single ladies are noticing that commitment is really changing as time goes on. This is how bad it's gotten. Just just in the past 10 years, people who are in their 20s and say that they're not single or living with someone, that number has risen from 52% to 64%. And then once you get to your 30s and you think that everything is going to change, nope. Marriage among people in their 30s has also declined 10% during that same decade. Now I happen to be 34 years old, living with my fiance, getting married next August. Unless we decide to cancel all of our wedding plans and just elope tomorrow. Jessica, if you're watching, let's just do it. Nah, she likes her wedding dress too much. So I happen to be approaching this topic as not only a professional dating coach for the past 10 years, but also a guy who's getting married in his 30s. Keep watching. Hey, what's up all you sexy single ladies? Adam LaDolce from SexyConfidence.com and this video is part of the relaunch of the Sexy Confidence Club happening on November 11th on Singles Day, 11, 11, 11, 11, 1, 1, 1, 1. You're not gonna wanna miss it, November 11th, mark your calendars. And as part of that launch, I'm going to have a ton of content that's going to come along with it. I'm gonna be teaching you how to attract men, how to avoid the wrong men, and within the members area, I'm gonna have a ton of new courses that are available to all those who wanna try the membership. Now this project started off as kind of a small project where we want to redesign the membership site, make it a little bit easier for people to navigate, and then I started taking a look at this whole thing and I said, I want to design one place where all you sex and single ladies can go to get all the information you need to find love and keep love, as well as have an amazing community and support system to help you along the way. So then this turned into a six month project, which is finally coming to a huge launch on November 11th that I cannot be more excited about. This is the biggest thing I have done with Sexy Confidence since I have started the brand. So mark your calendars, a lot of cool stuff is coming and I hope that you can try it out. We're doing a 14 day free trial for all you sexy single ladies so you can jump in, explore the entire membership, not pay a single dime unless you get a ton of value from this program, which I know you will. And next Sunday, I plan on releasing one final pre-launch video that's actually going to include Jessica in it. So if you wanna ask Jessica a question about our relationship about us, about me, about her, about how to build confidence to find love, leave a comment right there below. We'll choose a couple questions to answer in that next video. So let's jump into those three shocking reasons why he won't commit, but he keeps coming back for more. Reason number one is choice overload. We live in a time of day where you can pick up your phone and immediately be connected to thousands upon thousands of potential single people. And this sounds cool in theory. You think, Man, the fact that I have all these options available to me will make me choose a better partner for the future. Nope. This is actually creating a psychological effect called the paradox of choice. And that basically means that the more options we have for something, the harder it is for us to commit to that choice. This effect was really highlighted in a study done by a grocery store where they had two different tables. One table where they only sold one type of jam and then another table where they had 24 options of jam. Which table do you think sold more jam? The table with only one type of jam to buy far outsold the table that had 24 ridiculous options of jam to buy. And it's because people will go up and be like, mm, I like jam, but God, I like that blueberry, I like that raspberry. Oh my God, they have that cookie crunch or whatever it is. Is that even a jam? I don't know, maybe. It'd be cool if it was. But they look at this jam and then think to themselves, there's too many options, I don't know what, I'm, I'm just out. As opposed to going to that one table where there's this uh, one jam and he's just like, yeah, that's what I want. I want that jam. So just be that sexy one jam that's spread all over that bread. <laughs> But in all seriousness, this is a real problem. So if you are having trouble with guys who are struggling with the paradox of choice, or maybe you are struggling with the paradox of choice, 
take a break from the apps and focus on other ways to meet great guys. Reason number two reason why a man won't commit but he keeps coming back for more of that sexy gen that you bring to the table is because of finances. As part of the millennial generation and actually many generations now, we are just straight up totally broke. Not only with the student loan crisis that we have right now as well as rising home prices as well as the average $36,000 in debt that people are in between the ages of 25 to 34 we're just broke. And one thing that you probably realized about men is that when we are having trouble with work or with our finances, we can't even imagine committing to someone long term. And this is because men are just naturally providers. And if we feel like we can't provide, we will walk away because we'd rather be single and be able to at least deal with the problem than be in a relationship and have a total storm where we can't actually provide. But out of money has nothing to do with love. Uh, sorry sister, but you are wrong. In fact, the number one reason for divorce in North America is finances. I remember back about 10 years ago when I first started as a dating coach, I was speaking all across the country on dating and relationships. This was an incredibly fun period of my life, but honestly speaking at colleges wasn't that lucrative. And if I went back to that time in my life when I was living paycheck to paycheck from school to school to school, there is absolutely no way I would have ever committed to a woman even if I met the most perfect person in the world because I just didn't have my together. So just keep in mind sometimes this can happen. A man will have a lot of feelings for you but if he doesn't have his finances together it's going to be really hard for him to actually dive in head first. And then finally reason number three why it is that he won't commit but he keeps coming back for more is because he's feeling a little bit too much pressure to commit too quickly. And now my sexy single ladies this is where I turn this video around on you. If every time he gives you more such as wants to spend a weekend with you or takes you out to dinner. If every time he gives you an inch you take a mile then you know what he's going to want to do? Take many steps back. I've seen so many relationships end when a guy is really interested in a woman but every time he kind of takes that commitment step forward and commitment step forward that's not good enough. It always needs to be then the next thing, then the next thing, then the next thing. And it feels like he's almost in quicksand just getting drawn right down just like this and he doesn't even know what to do. So all he does is take steps back and back and back. So then he becomes more cautious about commitment and then she actually gets more frustrated and says hey we need to be doing more and what this does is just breaks the relationship right apart. So for all you sexy single ladies out there listen very carefully. If you find within the first three months of a relationship guys seem to pull away very quickly the more that you start talking about commitment then slow it down. You should also take those first three months to get to know him before you ever even consider any type of long term commitment. There's absolutely no rush in life. And I think both men and women have become more impatient than ever about getting the things that they want. And it's probably because we live in a society where everything we want comes on demand. However relationships don't work that way. So if you're finding that you're putting too much pressure early on in the relationship just slow it down. It's okay. So I want to hear from you in the comments below what part of this video really resonated with you. And then finally next Sunday I'm going to release a video with me and Jessica where we're going to answer some of your questions and this is all part of that Sexy Confidence Club launch on November 11th. Leave a comment right there below with a question you'd like to ask us. We would love to be able to connect with all of you sexy single ladies. So also if you enjoyed this video give it a like, give it a heart, subscribe, follow because we have a ton of amazing content coming for you very soon. So thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you you sexy single lady next week. Bye bye.